It's a lady in London here. Today I'm coming to you from San Francisco's Pacific Heights. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods in the city, not least because it has a great mix of parks, streets, shops, pretty houses, bars, restaurants, and more. I can't wait to take you around and show you some of my favorite parts of the neighborhood. As the name implies, Pacific Heights is on a hill. That means there are great views to the east, west, north, and south. Pretty much anywhere you go in Pacific Heights, you can see views of the bay, the hills, and other San Francisco landmarks. Fillmore is one of the main shopping and dining streets in Pacific Heights, or Pack Heights if you're a local. This street has everything from bookshops to bars. There are restaurants, cafes, and more, and it's a great place to come and get into the local spirit. Pack Heights is also known for its filming locations. You might recognize this house from the TV show Full House. The area has been used for movies too. This house was used in Mrs. Doubtfire. And it's not just houses either. This rooftop basketball court was used in The Princess Diaries. Pacific Heights has great restaurants too. From the ones on Fillmore to the ones on Divisadero and the ones on side streets, there's no shortage of great places to eat here. Bee Patisserie is famous for its baked goods. There's always a line out the door. The cafe on the corner opposite has great lunch food too. San Francisco is famous for its hills, which means neighborhoods like Pacific Heights have great stairway walks. The most famous is the Lion Street Steps. Not only are they steep, but they also have great views over the San Francisco Bay. San Francisco is famous for its Victorian architecture, and Pacific Heights is a great place to see examples of it. The houses here are stunning, and they come in all different colors and shapes. It's not just Victorian architecture either. There are a lot of different styles you can see throughout the neighborhood. If you want to see the biggest and most impressive houses in the neighborhood, head to Broadway or Pacific. These streets are full of amazing houses. There are hotels you can stay in in the area too. There's a link to this one in the description of this video on YouTube.
Pacific Heights also has some great parks. From Lafayette Park to Alta Plaza Park and the Presidio, there's no shortage of green spaces to enjoy in the area. Lafayette Park has fun views and a great dog park. The Presidio borders the western part of Pacific Heights, and you can get there from the Lion Street steps. It's a great space for walking. Alta Plaza Park has sweeping views of Sutro Tower and the surrounding hills. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Pacific Heights and I hope you get a chance to visit this part of San Francisco yourself someday. It's a great part of the city. As always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. Happy travels.